Hey, welcome back to Two Old Crows Homestead. It is, I don't know what time, it's a little bit after six o'clock and I am down here in the area where our food forest is at. Our house is actually right back up there. And um, so actually our food forest is probably, I would say that this is like zone three because it's that far away from our house. It's something that we drive by every day because there's the main, there's the road, our road right there. Um, however, we started planting this. The previous owners had planted some trees down here and we just added more to it and started planting it down here before um, we had William come out and do our permaculture consultation. Um, so, huh, let me think. Um, so we planted trees. I put cardboard and comfrey and mulch around all of them. And then I've left them for like, well, the last thing that we planted down here was blackberry bushes. And some of them have died. Um, but it's been a long time since I've come down here and messed with anything. Um, we do have comfrey growing really, really well around that one right there. And there's comfrey, there's some comfrey growing around this one. So... My plan is to put more cardboard around here and then tomorrow I'm going to use my little redneck setup here to um, bring down mulch and mulch all of these trees. I'm going to put, um, I'm going to mulch all these trees and then I'm going to um, plant strawberries. I have, I think I've got 50 strawberry plants up there. I've got garlic to plant around these trees. I've got some daffodils to plant around these trees. And, um, yeah, I'm just going to get the food forest back up and going. So doing that whole thing at, at Jason's place for Kentucky Sustainable Living has got me inspired to get back to work on mine. So, um, that's what I'm doing. All right, so I got cardboard around four of the trees, but not the one down there. There's a tree right there. And um, hopefully I'll get that tomorrow. I'm not doing anything else tonight. It's getting pretty dark. Um, but the reason I'm trying to get this done this weekend, I want to get all the mulch down this weekend and the stuff planted around them because it's supposed to rain really good here on Sunday. So I'm hoping all of this stuff gets rained in and we'll be able to grow. So that's my intent. Normally, you would, and, and I don't have water down here, so that's another thing. Um, I do have my gorilla bucket full of water that I've been soaking cardboard in, but that's another hard thing about this, is I don't have water down here. Woo! I was sitting on that rice knife. That's not good. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, thank God it didn't break and it didn't cut my butt. Okay, um, so normally with this stuff, you would put the cardboard down, soak it, put mulch on top of it, plant your stuff, do all that all together. Um, that's not happening. I'm hoping to get it all done tomorrow. The cardboard is probably going to dry out a little bit over overnight, but... Um, I'm hoping to get everything down and then Sunday it's supposed to rain like crazy. So I'm hoping that's what happens. Otherwise, I'm going to have to hook every garden hose we have together and run it down to Sam's house and try to get water up here to water all of this. So y'all pray for rain. Anyways, um, I'm going to go back to the house and I got to make a run to town and then I got to go pick Crystal up from work. And that's another reason is that Randy and Crystal are both working this weekend. So I'm kind of doing this solo. But you know what, guys? If you think you can't do this, you can totally do it. If you think you got to have a tractor, you ain't got to have no tractor. You just need a lawnmower. You probably don't even have to have a lawnmower. It'd help if you had one of these wagons that you could drag down here. But you can do this. Even if you're by yourself, you can do this. All right, it's the next day, and so the next step is going to be to haul um, mulch down and, and put around the trees on the cardboard that I laid down last night. 
So here we've got a couple mulch piles and I'm taking the mulch out of that and taking it down to the food forest. All right, so I've got all of the trees down here mulched and um, I just wanted to show you what I'm doing next. So this tree right here is a peach tree and um, to be honest, well, okay, that tree right here has grown quite a bit since we bought it and the one next to it but the other ones that we planted, including this peach tree, are not doing so hot. So I'm hoping that this helps. And I know that deer have been eating on these. And so this year I'm going to, after deer season, because my kids would probably kill me if I put it on before deer season. But after deer season, I'm going to put Billy's bone sauce on the um, trunk of the tree and see if that doesn't keep the deer away. Um, but they're doing they're doing okay i guess so um where you see those pots right there that's where i planted comfrey and i'm just putting the pots there so i know where that's at as i plant everything else right now i'm going to put in some daffodils so if you don't know already daffodil bulbs look like this so there's like a root end all you have to do is stick them down in the ground cover them up that's it If I get a chance, if I get time, I only had about 10 or 12 daffodil bulbs. If I get time, I'll go back and get more. But right now I've got about two bulbs per tree. Um, and there's like two comfrey plants per tree. So next I'm gonna put garlic. So you all have seen these in the grocery store. This is a big bunch of garlic or a bulb of garlic. Um, this one has actually, each one of the cloves has already started growing. Are sprouting so I'm just gonna take this um, bulb of garlic apart and plant these individual cloves around my trees okay I've got garlic planted around here and um, I've got a couple daffodil bulbs here and as you can see there's comfrey this is comfrey that I planted back in the spring and it's growing pretty well down here there's one I think that tree has a comfrey plant growing I put comfrey around all of the trees, but these are the only two that I could get to grow. Um, however, I had some comfrey up at the house that I had put in pots and started. So that's where all those black pots are at. So I know that that's where that is. Um, so the reason that you plant things like garlic and daffodils, those are um, pest deterrents. So a lot of animals don't like the way that garlic smells. Daffodils are supposed to be a good deterrent for deer to keep deer away, so that's why I've got that out here. Um, right here, I've got a flat of 25 strawberries that I'm getting ready to, um, I'm gonna put 10 strawberries around each tree, and um, hopefully in the spring, they will come back up and I can use them as ground cover. Right now, they've got a lot of dead leaves in them, like from the tree, um, and they've got a lot of dead leaves that are from the actual plant, but, um, they should be okay. I'll come back when it starts frosting here and cover this with straw and that will help that. And um, hopefully we'll have a ground cover of strawberries in the spring. Okay. Okay, just to recap, I got all of the trees. There's, um, I wanna say there's three apple trees. I think that one is a cherry tree and then down there is a peach tree. I got all of those mulched. I even came back and mulched the blackberry, the thornless blackberries that are still living. Um, not all of those made it. If you saw our video where those were gifted to us, but that's okay. Um, I've got daffodils, garlic, comfrey, and strawberries planted around each one of these. 
strawberries for ground cover, daffodils and garlic for pest deterrence, and garlic for food, and um, comfrey, because comfrey is just amazing. It's going to help the plants. It's going to help my animals. It's going to feed my animals. You can make um, tinctures and salves and teas and everything out of it. It's great stuff. So I've got that planted. And then we will come back in the spring um, and plant herbs down here. So like rosemary, thyme, oregano, all that stuff. I'm going to use this area to plant all of that along with the kitchen garden that I want to put up next to the house. So those are going to be out here too. And, and just like the garlic and the daffodils, those are pest deterrents as well. So that's the plan. And at some point, I mean, I still have a huge pile, about a pile and a half of wood chips up at the house. And at some point I would like to come through and all of this area in between everything, I would like to, you know, put cardboard down and bring wood chips down. But that's a job for another day. So I'm a little bit worn out. <laughs> Um, I'm going to go home. I've got to work on, uh, we went and did the last of Crystal's senior pictures this morning. So I got to go home and work on those and get those ready. And, um, yeah, I've got a couple other things I got to do tonight. Tomorrow, I'm probably going to be working on cleaning my house because I'm just going to tell you right now, my house is a hot mess. We have been gone to festivals and um, just meeting, meetings and, and just all kinds of stuff, not to mention working full time. Um, and our house is a wreck. So I'll be working on that tomorrow because hopefully it's gonna rain, right? Hopefully it's gonna rain. So um, yeah. Okay, so I'm sitting down here on my lawnmower. Um, I want you all to realize that um, I'm not going to tell you that homesteading is easy and I'm not going to tell you that raising, um, growing your own food, raising your own meat, all that stuff. I'm not going to tell you that that's easy. It's not easy. If you saw the last video we put out, we were out um, fixing our where our hogs are at and it was super dark, not even a full moon. <laughs> so we were doing that by flashlight. Um, I'm not gonna, you know, try to glamorize it or whatever and make and tell you that it's easy. It's not easy. However, it's doable. Um, Randy is, he had to sleep all day and is getting up right now to get ready to go to work. And Crystal just left to go to work. And I am the only one that was available to work on this. And I did it. And yeah, it took me a little bit of time. When did I start on this? It was probably around 11 and I think right now it's like 3 or something like that and I did, maybe I started at 10. Um, I did go in and take a lunch break and I was probably in the house for about an hour and then I came back out and finished it up. That's about four hours and I got it done and um, I don't want you to think that Maybe you think you don't have um, the money to go buy a bunch of trees. Um, we bought three of these trees. One of them, the cherry tree, was already here when we moved in. We bought three of these trees when we bought the property, and then we bought another one after that. Um, if you can only do one, do one. Tell your, um, you know, tell your kids you want a, an apple tree for Mother's Day. Or, um, you know, say, hey, it'd be awesome if you could help me start my orchard. Can, can you know, you, I'd like to have this for Christmas or whatever. It's, I mean, it's doable, y'all. Even if you just do it one at a time. So if you look at each one of these trees, this one right here, that tree, that's a guild. So right now you got your tree. And then there's the stuff, the comfrey, the garlic, the strawberries, the daffodils that are planted underneath it. And then right here close to it is a blackberry bush. And when my blueberry bushes come in in um, November, I'm going to plant them down here around these as well. Just do it a little bit at a time. 
Um, if you go back and look where uh, we actually started talking about the food forest, that was several videos ago and probably, it was probably a year ago. It's okay. If it takes time to do it, it takes time to do it. it it's taking us time to do it. it. Doesn't mean that I'm gonna stop. It doesn't mean that I'm gonna give up on it. I'm not. And I'm pretty tickled that right now, I may not have fruit bearing on these trees, but I am gonna have garlic and I'm hopefully gonna have strawberries and um, hopefully blueberries. And I don't know about blueberries. It may take a year for them because they're only, I wanna say they're like two gallon blueberries, two gallon containers or whatever. Um, they're not huge. So, but that's okay. Putting away for the future, right? Anyway, I just wanted to encourage you all and let you know that this is doable. It's, it's totally doable. Just takes a little bit of hard work. As long as you're not afraid of hard work, you'll be all right. I'll talk to you later. Hope you all have a great Saturday. Bye. Yeah, God bless you. Have a great day.